Hi everyone! Today we're going to be reading Max's Box, written by Brian Ray and illustrated by Shiloh Penfield. Max had a tiny box, small enough to fit into his little hand. This is yours, his mother told him. Everything will go into that box, father added. Small things, big things, all things. And he was right. When Max put his favorite ball in the box, the box got bigger. When he dropped his pirate ship into the box, the box got bigger. And there was still enough room for Murphy the stuffed dog and his lucky red truck. The little box just kept growing. When the box became too large to carry, Max's parents bought him a wagon to pull the box. Is that box getting too big for you, father asked. I can carry it, Max insisted. But Max learned that the box didn't simply hold on to toys and stuffed dogs. This box held on to Max's feelings, too. When Max fell in the playground, an older boy told him, Big boys don't cry. So Max put his heart in the box, and the box grew. Max became frustrated when he had trouble reading a story, and the other children teased him. So he put his anger in the box, and the box expanded right there beside him. He was excited about the birthday party, but felt too shy to make friends. Max hid his embarrassment in the box, and the box grew bigger still. It didn't take long for the box to outgrow the wagon, and Max's big blue sled, even the family car. Dragging around this huge box was getting harder and harder for Max. Riding a bike was difficult, climbing trees with friends became impossible, and swimming? Forget it. Still... He didn't feel he could let it go. Before long, Max couldn't do anything but sit in the shadow of his enormous box. He watched other children ride their bikes without a box to hold them back and felt all alone. Max was afraid that he was stuck with this great big box forever. And that made Max even sadder. And his box grew. One day, a boy passing by saw Max was upset and stopped. Then the boy asked him a very important question. How are you feeling? I'm feeling sad, Max said nervously. I feel sad too sometimes, the boy told Max. Would you like to come to the park and play? Just then, a ladybug, bright red, big and round, landed on the box just above Max's head, and it gave him an idea. And the idea grew. Slipping a piece of chalk from his pocket, he drew a squiggly line so that the ladybug looked like a baby balloon floating away. That bug's bright red looked so beautiful that it made Max smile, and Max's smile made the box lighter somehow. This feels better, Max said to his new friend. The boy asked, can I make a balloon too? Sure, said Max, happy to share. The boy drew a big green balloon. Then a little girl drew an even bigger purple and yellow one. With each balloon, Max began to forget about what was in the box. People on the way home from work or school or the store stopped to draw balloons of their own. It was really something to see, this giant box with brilliant balloons. Even mother and father drew a great big bunch. There were so many balloons, in fact, that something wonderful happened. The box began to float, high enough that the rope around Max's wrist tucked pulling him to his tiptoes. Max loved seeing those beautiful colors dancing in the clear blue sky. But Max was so used to holding on to that great big box and everything inside, toys, feelings, worries, that Max wasn't sure who he'd be without the box. It's okay to have all kinds of feelings, Father whispered, but once you feel them, their job is done. And so Max let it go. Everyone watched as the rainbow of balloons drifted across the sky and they felt just a little bit brighter and a little bit lighter, especially Max. The end. <laughs>